This is every single team's draft ranking in the 2024 NFL Draft. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Carvin Hunt 5 here, and today we're going to be doing NFL um, rankings for every single team for the 2024 NFL Draft. This is part one. This will be 25 to 32. So, let's get started. At number 32, we have the Atlanta Falcons, and this is kind of obvious. Michael Penix pick doesn't make any sense. Why would you draft Michael Penix when you sign Kirk Cousins for four years, $180 million? I will say the rest of their draft they did use on defense, but personally, I had them taking Dallas Turner with the eighth overall pick. Instead, they went Michael Penix, which makes no sense. So, that was dumb, personally, to me. At number 31, I have the San Francisco 49ers. The Ricky Pearsall pick at the end of the first round was... Round 131st, again, it was a complete reach in the first round. Why take him when you have Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk and Jawan Jennings, who just scored two touchdowns in the Super Bowl? Like, and the rumor was that one of Ayuk or Samuel was going to be traded, and now it looks like they're going to keep all of them, which to me, why? Like, just, just trade one of them. Jeez. At number 30, this kind of feels unfair, but it's the Cleveland Browns. I just think they had a bottom three draft. They didn't have their own first round pick, so this really feels unfair to them because of the Deshaun Watson trade. So I really feel like I can't judge them for this. So next. At number 29, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Cincinnati Bengals, they did actually have their own first round pick. They had number 18. They decided to go with Amarius Mims out of Georgia. And this is a problem right here for one main reason. Mims only started eight career games in college. Now, he was at Georgia, I will say, but still, like, I'm not taking a guy with less than one year of experience in college. That's why I didn't like Anthony Richardson. And yeah, I, I don't like the pick, but that's just me. I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna do with Mims, but we'll see if he's a bust or not. I, I don't know. At number 28, we have the Buffalo Bills, and the Buffalo Bills made some questionable decisions on draft night. They originally the 28th overall pick and looked like they were going to draft a wide receiver, but they ended up moving down with the Chiefs, who obviously they've been rivaling now for a few years, and the Chiefs took a wide receiver in Xavier Worthy, and then the Bills decided to move down one more spot with the Panthers. They ended up taking the Xavier Get, and then the Bills got at 33, which I think they still got a good player in Keon Coleman, but still I would take Xavier Worthy over Keon Coleman every single day. Me so bad trade right there by the Bills. At number 27, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Now the Seattle Seahawks ended up taking a defensive tackle in Byron Murphy the second, which personally I did not like the pick because I thought they could have maybe addressed another need like offensive line. They could have taken Troy Patanu. Um Murphy is a little bit of a reach, I'll say, at 16. I don't think it's that bad though. Like, I mean it's still bad, but like it's not like a terrible reach but it's still a reach in my opinion at number 26 i have the dallas cowboys now the dallas cowboys end up taking an offensive tackler tyler guyton from oklahoma now guyton will fill a spot by ty by uh, tyron smith who just left for the jets but i think they should have drafted a running back um in this draft they didn't have to draft one like right here which is is fine because there wasn't any first round running backs but still i would have drafted a running back either here or the second round, but that's just my opinion. At number 25, I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, the Jacksonville Jaguars ended up taking Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver, out of LSU. Now, I don't think this is a bad pick, but I think they could have used a little bit more on the rest, I'll say, of their draft. I didn't think they drafted very well after that. Um, and, I mean, first of all, they had to draft him. Calvin Ridley um, was leaving. He already left. Um, I mean, they just signed Gabe Davis. So, I mean, I think it's a good pick, but it's just, I didn't think they used the rest of their draft very well, is it all said. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. Uh, this is 25 through 32. Part two will come out soon. And also, we also currently also have 329 subscribers. Make sure to get me to 400 by the end of May. That'd be really nice of you guys. And apart from that, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.